We have just gotten back from shopping for Roxy. Yeah, Brendan's Rock birthday party. Rock. And if anybody's familiar with Brendan by now, you should know that that does not mean rock and roll. It means actual rocks. More <laughs> lots rocks. and lots of rocks. Just plenty of weirdo rocks. <laughs> weirdo rocks? What do you mean weirdo rocks? You were just calling them beautiful rocks a minute ago. <laughs> so when Brendan was very, very adamant about wanting a rock party, we were trying to figure out how to make rocks fun and accessible, if you will, for everyone. And Kevin actually came up with a few pretty good ideas for it. Um, you... Oh, well... <laughs> <laughs> Since you asked! <laughs> we are going to allow the kids to make their own pet rock. We actually got... We haven't got... <laughs> First thing is, we haven't got the rocks yet. We went to Osh and tried to get rocks, but they didn't have the right ones. We need actually sort of smooth river rocks that are actually fairly large. So we actually have to go out again and try to find those rocks. But what we did buy was some things like little googly eyes to glue on there. We got glitter glue, feathers, just little things you can glue onto a pet rock. Brendan has some little puffball things upstairs right, he got a whole yarn. bunch of yeah he got a bunch of art supplies uh, from a friend of mine a while back so we're gonna go through that and see what else we can pull out to glue on two rocks right yeah so we got buckets and what's gonna go in these buckets well we're going to put some sand in the buckets along with some rocks and some other things so the kids can actually dig stuff out and they actually have a little rock dig. We've got some fancier rocks that are, I haven't even seen them, they're just different colors and different things like that. And then we've got these rocks that are still their nice little river rocks, but they're like filler rocks, obviously. They're just kind of brown and, you know, very basic colors. And uh, yeah, they're gonna get to dig and find treasure, find uh, buried rock treasure. And lastly, we are also uh, getting some little Tiny geodes. They're on a one to two inches, and what we're gonna do is. Uh, For anybody who's not doesn't know what a geode is, it's a rock that looks like a regular rock on the outside and has all the little crystally yeah. cool stuff on the inside. Yeah, and so we're gonna allow them to break their own geodes open. Or we're gonna break them for them, and so they don't <laughs> smash their toes. Because <laughs> they're all four-year-olds, five-year-olds, so yeah, we don't want them to damage themselves or <laughs> anything in the nearby vicinity. So yeah, there safety will be goggles on, please. And then what's your cake going to look like? What's going to be on your cake? Rock candy. Rock candy. We got all these these different colored rock candies and they're on little popsicle sticks. And a lot of these are going to go in the gift party bags. And then the rest are going to go on the cake. And we got, because, because Brendan very much wanted a red cake, so we got some more of these darker rock candy crystal things to go on the cake. Right? Yeah. Oh, and there's more. We're gonna throw in just little like Twizzlers or something like that in the in the uh, party bags as as candy, you know, just some little extra favors. But we found ring pops. I want to see ring. And pops. so technically, the jewels on the ring pops are rocks as well. Rocks, okay. jewels, minerals, whatever. They're <laughs> all in this the same idea. And like his party last year, we got these little canvas bags at the dollar store and we will put things in here. I want the red bag. Okay, you can have a red bag. That's why we got two reds. We got one blue and one green and two reds, because you like red. And we got more plastic bowls because 
somebody considered our old plastic bowls to be toys. And yeah, they, and I broke them. You did, yes. Only two, not, not the other one. We had three? I thought we only had two. We have another one? Yep, I'll show you. Well, this is news to me. I thought they both got broken. Mm. All right, well, maybe, oh, maybe we didn't need to buy two. But anyway, yeah. Well, but if you broke two, then... This one! Oh! This one's not broken. Let's see. Oh! <gasps> We now have three bowls, because stupid mommy thought you broke both of them and said we had one. Yeah. So we only need to buy one, but that's all right. Considering how easily this break, these, these things break, it's probably good that we have an extra one. And we sent the invitations out this week, and Kevin actually made the invitations himself, just like you did last year for the bug hunt. Mm -hmm. I think he did a really good job. It only took like, what, an hour or something? Yeah, and most of that was just finding the right little graphics to put on the little card. Yeah. Like the actual card took like 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't do it. I'd be at the, up at the drugstore buying, you know, pre-made invitations. <laughs> and then in just a few days, my parents are coming and I think my brother, I haven't gotten the, I haven't got, <laughs> it's like four days from now. I haven't gotten the, uh, the word one way or the other on my brother. But, um, the idea is, the idea being that my family is coming into town for Brendan's birthday and they'll be here for the party and yeah, it should be a lot of fun. You keep, are you excited for grandma and grandpa? Yeah. So yeah, we're spending the rest of the weekend getting this disaster of a the black hole of death that we live in here <laughs> actually usually that's just how i describe our storage unit down in the basement is the right. black hole of the, the black abyss of death the black abyss of death but the apartment's starting to become a black abyss of death as well because there's so much stuff everywhere and it just it keeps accumulating it's not and... really an abyss of death it's just an abyss of slovenliness <laughs> yeah. because we have plenty of living things in here including ourselves our plants the, the pillow <laughs> he's got Praying mantises. Uh, That's true. Plenty of living so things plenty in of here. Living things, yeah. but it is the black abyss of slovenliness. That yes. yeah, it kind of started when when we had the termite and tent. Also, and also, two spiders, but you let them go. Yeah, two spiders. Two spiders. Um, just FYI, if you're noticing that potty chair on the couch behind Brendan, he just. Uh, pulled that out of the closet this morning as a joke and has been sitting on it as a joke. I'm only saying that because I don't want anyone to think we're doing any sort of potty no, related things we on the sofa. The storage. Yeah, he, he hid his little animals yeah, underneath it in the, like, a little, little cave. Pictures. Anyway, that's a side note. I just didn't know if anyone was going to see that and be like, why is there a potty seat on your sofa? Somebody would have said that. So yeah, somebody would have noticed. Or at least thought it. Yeah, Brenda was kind of upset with me this morning because he had two spiders in two different jars. And he'd had them for a couple of days. And last night, I didn't even, I forgot about them. I, they were just over on the side table. And I looked over and I, they were still there. And I was like, oh crap. It was like they were, they were, I wasn't even sure if they were still alive. So I uncapped the jars and just lay them down so the spiders could crawl away. And Brendan saw the empty jars this morning and got very upset with me for for letting his spiders go. But what did we talk about with the spiders? If you want to keep a spider in a jar, what do you need to do? Feed it every single day. Yes. So the difference between having a pet and having a prisoner, you take care of it and feed it. So we've got spiders everywhere here. They just, they're all out in our trees and everything. Good thing we're not afraid of spiders because there's a lot of spiders up in this joint. So I'm sure he'll get another spider at some point, but if he wants to keep it in a jar, he's got to feed it and take care of it and not just let it sit there and... I suspect he won't be keeping yeah. any spiders if you have to feed it. Because how many times has he fed his praying mantises? Zero, how right? How many times have I fed his praying Daddy mantises? Daddy is definitely in charge of feeding the praying mantises, oh, yeah. so yeah. So that's about it. Like we said, we've just got to get some more, some, the, the large stones for Brendan's party to for the decorating. And other than that, I think we're pretty good. We still have to get the food and everything. We ordered the cake. Oh, yeah. And a red cake because he wanted a red birthday cake. Red cake, yeah. We were kind of hoping for like a brown cake that would yeah. sort of go along with the rock theme, but Probably he's very green. For yeah, grass yeah, anything. for grass, but he's very adamant about red, so whatever, it's his birthday. Yeah. And then we're gonna spend the rest of the weekend, as I said, cleaning up the black abyss of slovenliness. So much, so many spiders in this joint. Yeah. <laughs> he wanted you to say it. Oh, the oh, you want me to say there's so many spiders up in this joint? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the funniest thing ever in, the, in my work, in my life. 
Oh, well, that's good. Not the funniest thing ever. Wow. wow. You haven't this had a very funny one. This than this joint. <laughs> that's it. Please hit the like button and the subscribe button and the little bell button and all those buttons down below. Just hit some buttons, please. Hit, just hit buttons. Hit buttons. Bye.